All right, hello and welcome to day 29 of Inktober. Um, you have to forgive these perspective lines I was sort of notionally drawing in. I didn't end up using them. I had this idea that maybe I would try and do like a like a vanishing shot where it was really tall or going disappearing off in the distance. I didn't end up doing it though. This is supposed to be a, th a throne of ball, a throne of lies. It's like this cultist throne. And I've got this kind of uh, monstrous figure that makes up the throne, and then I've got the uh, the cultists are actually down below. It's really just the throne. So here's the guy standing over there. Um, yeah, once again, I'm drawing pretty small. These are three by five card sized <laughs> drawings. So if the detail is lacking, that's why. You just gotta work with what you got. Anyways, the fun of this guy was kind of in the thinking and the shading. It is Inktober after all. There's some of my cultists. And it's kind of funny. I um, I had been making sort of a conscious decision to not draw so many tentacled things because I drew a lot of tentacled things earlier in Inktober, like kind of in a row. Um, anything that was kind of undulating or tentacly, and I thought, oh, maybe it's getting kind of boring, so I'll try and do some other stuff. Um, but uh, it's still cool. In this one, I did this similar to an, uh, an earlier one where I applied some of the um, Stabilo directly to the paper. And then uh, you can see I'm putting the brush down on it and it gets a nice thick black. Like that's a nice heavy black color. Um, runs out of the lines a little bit. That's kind of my trademark messiness. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but I enjoy drawing this, uh, this particular throne thing. Here I was trying to sort of notionally shade it in without making it fade into the uh, the uh, the black. If you're if you're not careful with you know with your tones, you you end up with one either all mid tones or light tones, and there's no contrast. Or you just make it all black. So you need to have both you know the dark black areas and the light shaded areas. And best bet is overlap them on it, which I didn't do too good a job of overlapping them there. Here's me trying to do a little touch-ups on the outside. And then I decided to, to go ahead and do some white pen outlining. Um, anyhow, f fun little piece. See you next time. Inktober is almost over. Happy Halloween.